The man who murdered Churchland schoolgirl Vicky Groves is now expected to walk free within days, but a classmate who witnessed the stabbing says he doesn't deserve a second chance. The woman was one of 18 teenagers who saw their classmate stabbed to death. She can't forget and she can't forgive. I don't think he deserves a second chance. She never got a second chance. She had no chance. She had no chance of defending herself against him. This woman was there, one of 18 classmates who saw Vicky Grove stabbed to death. As he walked behind Vicky, he pulled her hair back and started to stab her. He didn't really stop at first. Everybody thought it was one of those joke knives. There was blood and there was people screaming. The former Churchland senior high school student only wants to be known as Stacy. I remember it like it happened yesterday. It's something that, that never leaves you. It's always, it's always in your mind. The now 38-year-old says it's hard to live with not being able to help her friend. I think you can play the, the what-if card a lot. She says she's the first classmate to speak out and that they are the forgotten victims. Everybody that was there and has been involved deserves to have a voice and, and how it's affected them because nobody's ever asked us how do we feel about it. She relives the nightmare every day. I didn't like to be in a room with the door closed. I didn't like to go anywhere and have people standing behind me. If I went to the movies, I always had to sit in the back row. While it's been 22 years since the brutal killing here, the chief detective in the case says the horror of that day is still clear in his mind. But he's not opposed to Vicky Grove's killer being released. He says everyone deserves a second chance. Retired Inspector Bob Colton was the officer in charge of Claremont CIB back in 1991. I'm concerned that anybody that's something violent like that are back out on the street, but um, maybe this is his second chance. And uh, I think we've just got to live with it. Ebony Ferranda. Nine News.